This was a massive quake. Aftershock still toppling buildings. The 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck in the early hours while people were asleep and dozens of aftershocks have been felt since. Situated on or near several fault lines in the Earth's crust, Turkey is one of the world's most active earthquake zones. Quakes are common, but even so, one on this scale brings massive fear and confusion for those on the ground. The epicenter was Gatantyeb on Turkey's border with Syria, where buildings collapsed and homes set on fire from gas leaks. Rescue workers and residents frantically searched for survivors under the rubble of crushed buildings in multiple cities. Some experts are saying this may be Turkey's largest earthquake on record, certainly as strong as one that happened over 80 years ago. Turkey's interior minister, Suleyman Solyu, says this is devastating. All our governors, gendarmerie, security forces, Turkish armed forces and search and rescue teams from many points in Turkey are being dispatched to the relevant regions, he said. It was a similar human tragedy across the border in Syria. This father mourning the loss of his baby son. Civil defence workers and local people dug with their bare hands to rescue the living and recover the dead. Many buildings in different cities and villages in northwest Syria collapsed, destroyed by this earthquake. Our teams responded to, the, to all the sites and the buildings and still now many families now are under the rubble. Our, 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 fab, our teams trying to save them trying to save their people, to save the, all the people from under the rubble with all capabilities. But it's a it's, it's very difficult task for us. We need help. No one knows yet how many died, how many homes destroyed, and lives changed forever. John Cookson, Arise News.